Hi everyone, meteorologist Taylor Canoost here with your forecast. It's going to be a fairly mild night tonight above average with your lows in the mid 30s to the low 40s, including a low of 39 in Des Moines. That's going to set the stage for a beauty of a day on Wednesday. Sunshine most of the day. It is going to be windy. We'll talk more about that in a second, but these temperatures looking great. We climbed to the low 60s by noon on Wednesday, and we're expecting highs in the low 70s from 3 o'clock to at least 5 o'clock. So it's going to be a great day and probably our warmest day yet this year for many of us. 70 the forecast high in Fort Dodge, upper 60s just north of there, 71 in Iowa Falls, more 70s for most of central Iowa, including 72 in Des Moines and Ames, up to 71 in Jefferson, southern Iowa. More of those low 70s expected, 72 two for Oskaloosa, 71 in Sheraton, 74 out in southwest Iowa near Bedford. The one problem with tomorrow is it's going to be fairly windy. Forecast wind gusts by late morning to the afternoon could eclipse 30 miles per hour at times, so it is going to be a fairly blustery day out there. But beyond that, not much to complain about, uh, especially for the middle of March. Uh, once we get through Wednesday, cold front's going to roll through. That's going to usher in some clouds, a little bit cooler weather, and a chance for some precipitation uh, as we head into Thursday and Friday morning. And you might notice a little blue there. Yes, there is a chance at some wet snow, at least in southeast Iowa on Thursday night. Again, sunshine expected through the day on Wednesday. Clouds fill in on Wednesday night. There is a chance at some isolated rain showers Thursday morning. A little bit better chance at scattered rain showers, mainly near and south of I-80 on Thursday afternoon. It is possible that we have some light rain showers at times during the St. Patrick's Day parade on Thursday. I don't think it's going to be enough to cancel the event by any means, but uh, again, maybe have the umbrella handy just in case. That rain threat will continue mainly in southern Iowa through Thursday evening, becoming fairly heavy and widespread through Thursday night. And as cold air moves in, it is possible some of that rain could transition to some wet snowfall, especially south and east of Des Moines as we head into Friday morning. That should clear out by late morning on Friday. So we'll talk more about that snow threat in a second, but here's how much moisture, whether it's rain or snow that we could end up seeing over a half inch of uh, precipital water, uh, water possible near Lamoni uh, stretching toward Ottumwa. Farther north you go, you're not going to get as much, including in Des Moines. Now the snow threat again, most likely in southern and eastern Iowa on Friday morning. We're going to have these warm temperatures that we've seen the past several days continue all the way through Thursday and even temperatures while it's snowing could be near or just above freezing. So yes, wet snowflakes may fall. It's going to have a hard time sticking to the ground. So especially on the roads, uh, I don't expect much, if any, accumulation if we do happen to see that snow develop on Friday morning. So while it's going to be kind of weird to see we, us go from 70s to a chance for snow on Friday morning, I'm not expecting major impacts to travel as we close out this work week. It will be a cooler Friday with a high of 49, but we rebound this weekend with highs in the upper 60s by Sunday through next Monday, and then another rain chance coming our way late Monday into next Tuesday.